Okay, the next step is go ahead and install the oil pump. First thing with the oil pump will be the oil pump gear. One end of the shaft has a cutaway on it. That faces out. That's what carries the rotor to the oil pump. The other end is strictly a bushing. The oil pump slides into place. This is the oil pump housing. The oil pump housing has an input bore that lines up with the lift screen on the bottom of the pan. There's a line bore plug here. I put JB Weld epoxy over it simply because I have seen them leak in the past. And anytime you see something like that that's that easy to fix, I do it. So I put JB Weld epoxy over the intake line bore and over the high pressure output line bore. That way, just in case, I don't have somebody calling me up going, you know, that engine you just built for me has an oil leak. Because they're usually not happy if that happens. So I'll go ahead and put gasket sealant on the gasket surface. Honda generator oil pumps, or excuse me, EV4010 and 6010 Honda generator oil pumps use two O-rings in them. The O-rings that come in the kit are junk. They get hard and brittle and they leak. I use aftermarket O-rings here. They're made by Federal Mogul. The Federal Mogul's Viaton composition, which Federal Mogul maintains is good up to temperatures in excess of 500 degrees Fahrenheit before they get brittle. I've had excellent success with these, so I strongly recommend if you're doing one of these jobs that you get the Federal Mogul O-rings. I have to buy them in quantities of 100, but I will sell them separately because the average person does not need 100. I simply fit the O-ring in the gasket. The gasket cover. I get it down close. Take a flashlight, make sure that that O-ring is still in place.
again. Six millimeter bolt torque. It's ten newton meters. on this other ring strictly to hold it in place. The oil pump rotor and outer housing will have dots on them. They do not need to be aligned this way. The purpose of the dots is to keep orientation so that if you disassemble it for inspection or something, they develop a wear pattern. Either have both the dots facing in or both the dots facing out. It doesn't matter. But just keep it the same every time. I like to face both the dots out because that way when I see them, I'll remember it. This particular O-ring that I just put on is the most notorious oil leak on these engines, which is one of the main reasons why I insist on using the Federal Mogul high jump O-rings. I suspect that part of the problem is the fact that you've got a steel cover over an aluminum housing. They have something to do with it. 